Hey guys, what's going on? Sparky here, and today I just want to make a quick guide to redstone because the majority of people on well who play Minecraft do not know how to use redstone. So I felt like I've learned a bit, so I might as well teach you guys. Now with the new 1.3 interface, there is now uh, an option full of redstone stuff that you can use. So the basic stuff I'm going to be using for this episode is sticky pistons, a pressure plate, lever, redstone. Redstone torch, Peter, a uh, stone to put the redstone on, just so you can go, so you guys can see it a bit better, and some other stuff. So let's get into it. And it's raining. One sec. Okay, so let me just go over to what the basic equipment does. Now, obviously you got the redstone wire, which carries the electric. Yeah, think of it as a wire. So an input goes through here, the electric current goes through the wire, and the output there. So if I put a lever there. And a piston there, I faded it, the electric current, and it pushed the piston. And that's pretty simple redstone. That's like too simple actually. Just get some dirt out. Okay, and then you've got the redstone torch, which is pretty much a power source. So you can put a bit of redstone and it turns it on, and you can also turn it off using air lever. And then you've got the redstone repeater, which you can change the amount of ticks, but basically it's like a if a pulse goes in there, it will wait in there for a certain amount of ticks and then come out. So now I'm going to show you some basic redstone contraptions, which I'll pause the video for. Actually, no, I won't. So you go, this is a very simple mechanism. Two redstone repeaters, both on three pulse ticks. And then you just put redstone in there. Whack a redstone torch. And it's, basic, it's called the clock mechanism. So if I had a piston here with a block and I put a piston there with a block and then use the redstone and this can also be used to like direct the current into one thing but as you can see it just pretty much automates the piston you can have it going fast and slow you can see they've got different speeds It's almost like a punching bag. And that's really simple redstone. You can do that with anything. But unfortunately, when you turn off your single player world or whatever, you will have to put another redstone torch as it will stop the clock. And if you do want to stop it naturally, just break a bit of redstone wire and replace it. And that's that. Okay, another thing is using redstone lamps, and I've just written high here just to um, demonstrate, is for redstone, you're going to need a lot of room. And what you can do with this if I put a block there and had a repeater there, the power from that repeater will go to these two blocks. So literally all you have to do is stack these on and you can have a repeater there which is going to go to them two blocks and then what you could do is just go have one more up there. This may look pretty noticeable but Unfortunately, I've made it kind of wrong, but I'm just going to do these two bits. So you have a bit of redstone wire coming off, and if I just quickly show you. Redstone can travel up one block, but as soon as you put something there, it will cut off the circuit. Unless it is, say, a piece of glass. Then the wire will just go through it, which is pretty neat. But, um, where's my stone? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so if you have that going down there and then you want that to travel down there. And what you can do is just have a simple repeater there just to stop it from colliding with that one. But then you have the circuitry going along there. Why am I sure? Okay, there we go. I have my mouse on the mouse pad. But, um,. Yeah, just simply hook it all up. That should work. No, it shouldn't, because that's there. But then you can simply put a lever or a brush plate down, activate it, it'll activate the circuit, and it will light up them five. So apparently, this can light up the one above it, that one, and that one, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. So now I'm going to go into some more confusing redstone stuff after I've just set it up. 
Okay, so I'm purely doing this for demonstration, but I'm just going to do a live bit of redstone building. But say if you were to make a temple or a house or something with like a entrance, but like you don't want to use pressure plates and doors, so I've just built a quick little model here. And you may have seen this in adventure maps, it's quite common. It's nice. Yeah, really common bit of redstone circuitry. But um, what you want to do is you want to have some stone there. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. I'm just get rid of them. And then you want to put a redstone torch. Either s hang on a minute. Let me just double check this. I want to make sure this works so I don't look like a loser on re. Okay. Yeah, I am doing this right. But you just want to dig out a little area because the main reason people actually use redstone is for like traps and that. And people, it just looks ugly when you see actually see it. So you don't want people to see it if you want to unexpect them. But yeah, what I'm doing here is a simple door. So you have a redstone torch either side of these blocks. These are the blocks with the press plates on. So when you stand on them, that's going to trigger the door to open. But you can put redstone one under the torch and it'll work. But if you just want to throw a redstone, red, <sighs> redstone repeater down, it will carry on the pulse like a redstone torch pretty much. And what you want to do is you just want it to go up. There, mm -hmm. and then just have some stone blocks. You don't need to use stone. I'm just using this for demonstration. Have the redstone repeater. You see that will open. So now, when I ever stand on this, it will turn that torch off, stop the pulse, and it will open. That will give me time to run through, and that will close. Uh, so you just do the exact same with the other side. A simple bit of redstone wire up there. Just throw down some stone blocks, that there, and a repeater. And then what you can do is simply just grab some stone bricks or whatever, whatever you're building your house out of, and literally just cover it up. I'm just probably going to speed this bit up in the vid, so. Okay, so now that I've slowed down the clip, you've literally all you've got to do is cover them bits up mainly. So you want to just throw some bricks in front of the pistons and like next to them so you don't see the redstone torch. And then you can just have that as usual. You can just cover that with a bit of dirt if you want to. But as long as you don't chop up any of the redstone wire or cut it off so one of the doors opens. But all that's now going to hidden. As you can see, you can't see any of the redstone. There's a sheep in my house. And then just throw some there. And then, if I've done this correctly, just build a little doorway. Now, when you walk into this, them doors will open and close as soon as you come in. Which is pretty nice. Now, I've just got to check something. Okay, so from what I can see, you for this, you can only do it in because when you try and do it out the pulse is still going through so it'll keep it open until you press the other one but if you guys do find out a way to like open it from the other side please leave a video response and I'll watch it and put it in a vid or something I'll just give it a little shot but that's another basic thing well not really basic but if you want to see the machines one more time it's simply just redstone torch wire repeater whoops I destroyed some redstone Oh god, where did that begin? Okay, that was on a block. And then a repeater into the top piston. So when you stand on that, yeah, it'll open that side. Okay, so another thing you can do, which I only found out recently, is this thing called an AND gate. So, you have a redstone torch there, with a bit of redstone wire in the middle. And then, not, oh god, hang on. Not there. Not there. Not there. So, the the pulse from these two um, torches and the wire will turn this off. So if you wanted to make an adventure map or just feel like you had to have a secret way of uh like a way of putting there I can't speak 
a way of like entering a house where like they won't realize or whatever just simply have like a hole or something you can like go into so if you had a pressure plate in there not one of them ones a wooden one because they're the only ones that use items and you threw it on there oh wrong level yeah, pressure plates have to be linked up either sideways or exactly. So it will turn off that torch, and that torch is still off. So unless that torch is still uh, turned off, that won't turn on. And then say if you had something over here, but you used a lever, turn it on. It will turn that torch off, which will turn that one on, which could literally just send a pulse to a, uh, is it a piston. Go up to. So that's probably another way you could leave something, and then yeah, that will open that, and it will close it or whatever. Or you could also do it like and let me just set this up. Uh, an iron door. So when you press the lever, it will open a door, and then you could just take that up, and it will turn it on, and that will close the door. So that's another really useful thing for Minecraft survival, or if you're on a server and you don't want to get griefed. That's always really nice. Now I'm going to show you some of my advanced sort of redstone stuff. So let me just hop over to my sing. My okay, so this is my single player world. It's quite a bit, but I tried to you know use some redstone and stuff so here we have as I showed earlier just an eye and the amount of redstone repeaters I had to use in that but it's pretty well hidden and this is just like a little disco floor kind of thing but um yeah then you've got the sparky D sign which is the intro so you just go through here you hit one of them it raises the piston up with a gold block and it goes all the way underneath. I wonder if I can. It literally follows repeaters all the way down. And then, of course, it goes all the way underneath, all the way to here, powering every letter. And I know it looks complicated, but it was really simple. I just done that stuff because I weren't good with redstone. I found out you can just use a single cord and redstone repeaters. And of course, that lights up the whole sign. Oh, just of course, that lowers the position. And the funny thing is, with all the repeaters, I can beat the pulse of the sign. So, as you can see, piston goes off, all that goes off, all of them turn off, and that's how that works. And finally, actually, no, second to least is what I show you in the last clip. Where it's just a simple little ruined temple with mud going up it. Could be used for custom maps. Go here, opens the door, comes in here, it's pitch black. Go here, and there's a lever. That'll pull that back. Hit the lever, and then you'll be here. And it's probably pitch black for you guys because I haven't got my sensitivity up. But then you can come up here, come around the back of it. And finally, a little sort of drop thing. Hit that. It drops all the sun down with a smiley face, and of course, uses pistons and goes into the void. And this one's very simple. Walk down it. Yeah, all it is is redstone repeaters and one redstone wire. So thanks for watching some very very simple uh, redstone circuitry. If you need any help with anything, uh, leave me a message or PM me. And I will try and help you out or make a video about it. If you have any other requests to do with Redstone, once again, PM me and I will try and make a video of it. Or if you need any help in general, just message me. So, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, fave, thumbs up the video, and share it. Uh, if you want to see more of these guides to do with Redstone, um, leave a comment. Or if you want to see some other guides or Whatever, just 
leave a comment and there should be another tech out at some point this week also I will do a wrestling contraption that I'm going to be putting in my map so once again thanks for watching and goodbye